welcome to the Above and Beyond Tour Bus. We're on a 30 day tour of North America, uh, USA and Canada, um, taking in most major markets as they say in the business. <laughs> um, and since uh, we have a lot of equipment and gear and uh, crew that we're taking with us, we're doing it with a bus, which is always nice. Our tour manager Fitzjoy, he, he's sort of leaving these healthy temptations, if you will, around. So, you know, we'll hopefully presumably snack on an avocado as opposed to necking some vodka. And um, actually there's probably some more stuff in here. What we've got, actually, that's not... Oh, look, this is the unhealthy stuff. These look filthy, look at those. Mm, that's mm -hmm. great. That's what we want. But yeah, there's all this stuff and um, I think in the fridge, actually, there's some... If I can get this thing open. Uh, we have lots of juices, look, kombucha. Organic. It's got nice. to be good, isn't it? And cheese. A very rare sighting in North America. Cheese. Shots. Oh, gee, it's gone. It's just crazy. Not it? shots of vodka, but shots of healthy stuff. Uh, and he's a very healthy uh, influence on us all when we're on the road. Make sure we have nice fruit and avocado and nuts, granola, all that kind of stuff. Um, somebody's pee in a bottle is always <laughs> good to have in the cupboard. Oh, and Tony, some, oh. in Syracuse, we picked these up. Oh. So a fan gave us these, and they are for you. Oh, lovely. Look, oh my ABGT God. golf balls. Well, look at that. Tony's a keen golfer, so there you go. I am a keen golfer, and these are kind of matte, very sexy. And that was the logo from our uh, ABGT 250 in the Gorge, or at the Gorge, near Seattle. How lovely. We also got this lovely photo from a fan as well. Probably put that in the studio, maybe. Yeah, indeed. The only the only thing that, um, that that I absolutely consume every single day on the tour bus comes out of this machine here, which will be well known to most people in the civilized world, which is the coffee machine. And when it runs out of coffee or runs out of water, that's a serious uh, yeah, that's a serious issue. The rest of the stuff, the berries, the fruit, yeah, we can do without those. But the coffee, you just can't live without. I actually want to show you the toilet because it's got one cool feature, um, which is this sign here. <laughs> if you sprinkle when you tinkle, please be a sweetie and wipe the CT. That's nice. No number twos either. Oh, so, yeah. This is the official day sheet and um, Fitzjoy downloaded the logo from the interweb and it's obviously wrong, it's kind of all squashed. But that doesn't matter because the important thing is the timing. What time we're on stage. Uh, what time the, the curfew in the club is, which is always useful to know. Meet and greet. Me, yeah, we've got a meet and greet tonight. M and G, grip and grin, we call it. And then uh, <laughs> bus call, which is when you need to be on the bus if you want to make it to the next gig, which in this case... And there's a Wi-Fi password. It's in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, we're off to Detroit tomorrow, so... I want to show you my upgraded bedding as well, because uh, we made some modifications to the bedding area. So, yeah, this is my bunk. And uh, here we have goose down pillows, just for you know that kind of hotel feeling. Goose down duvet and upgraded sheets. Because if I compare it to, there's no one in there. Oh no, oh, that's Parvo's. Parvo's upgraded as well. Yeah, this is your normal. This is your standard, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's nice. It's cotton, but you know it obviously isn't as sexy as that. This is kind of seduction quality, really, isn't it? Yeah, for a solo traveller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we go into the rear lounge? This is where the entertaining happens. So, uh, what have we got in here? Song singing. Actually, we should have got Neil's guitar. Neil's brought his guitar along, so uh, we are building up a repertoire of songs that we can sing all the way through. Uh, as anybody who's got a guitar and has been in a social gathering will know, you know loads of songs up to about the third or fourth line, then you can't remember the chords anymore. So, um, what we're hoping is by the time the tour ends in a, a few months' time, we'll actually be able to sing some songs all the way through to the end because that's a real bonus. <laughs> we got your beers and stuff in there, and also PS4, I think. Uh, where's the screen for that? There, uh, we haven't yeah, used that yet. Used that yet. Yeah. It's early days, really. We haven't really, I think, uh, put our feet under every table in the bus, if you know what I mean. I think people sort of end up feeling comfortable in certain parts of the bus. I mean, I've always liked the the front of the bus because I quite like looking where we're going because you can sit at the front and unless, unless the curtain's pulled you can look out the front window and get that sense of moving along which is always very pleasant. You're kind of isolated from travel here and this I is, never feel quite so comfortable in the back. This is quite a good spot here for just you know getting out of the laptop 
doing a bit of music, planning sets and working on edits and things like that, isn't it, really? Yeah. I guess most tour buses are the same, and we're all hiring them from the same company, and because they've got to go back in the same state as you hire them from, the chances to kind of make it your own are fairly limited, really, I think. We're in America promoting our new album, which is called Common Ground, which came out a few weeks ago and debuted in the American charts at number three, which is very nice. Thanks for all your support. Those of you who bought it, we hope to see you on the tour. If we haven't seen you already, take care. See you soon. Okay. See you later. Bye.